Greetings, New Destiny. This is your pastor. I love you and I miss you. This here is a prayer thought for you and I want you uh, in your home, uh, in your study uh, with the family to consider several things. Watch this. This is a thought. You could write it down. Prayer does not end when we end. Uh, prayer is continuous, it's perpetual. Prayer flows to heaven and back. And even when you and I stop praying tonight or in the morning, God is still moving. Here's a scripture for this prayer thought, Psalms 31 and 1. It says that in you, Lord, I have taken refuge, let me never be put to shame. Do you know I read that almost every day? That prayer, that verse has given me support and strength throughout the years of being a pastor, being a husband, being a father, being a businessman, that I'm believing that when I pray to God, he provides a protection and I will never be put to shame. That does not mean trouble will not come my way. Listen, here's a story I think you ought to look at and listen to it straight. Funny, in Colorado, there's a place around the Rockies, Cheyenne area, the mountain cliff. Uh, there's a half a mile deep built uh, command center uh, this was designed by the U.S. early in the Cold War area and is designed to provide a safe haven and a command center to operate in case of any chemical warfare, any biological warfare, almost like our virus that we're facing today, the coronavirus COVID-19. The challenge is that if you get there, you can stay two years. But the other challenge is, like I said, if you can get there. Can you get there to the command center for safety, for refuge? Because God will not let you be put to shame. Well, that's where we are today. We're there today that we need prayer to help us get into the command center with God, and he would not let us be put to shame. Here are several quick points. I want you to write them down, and I want you to study them. I want you to get your family, and I want you to get together and not give up and not give in. Watch this. Number one, prayer is a key to God's command center. That's simple. But it's true. How do we get into heaven? How do we get to the throne rooms of God? We do that by prayer. God will respond to those who pray and for those who ask him to meet needs. Our prayers invoke heaven to open and to activate a supernatural realm. Number two, write it down. Prayers and act where we hear it again. I know that sounds funny. But when we pray, it becomes repetitive. When we pray, it echoes through our spirit and in our minds. Short, specific prayers daily. God bless me. God keep me. God help me. God take care of my family. Number three, write it down. Prayer is an encounter with God. The key to prayer is that we want to meet him. Meet him. Meet him where he is more than trying to get him to meet us where we are. Knock out all the distractions, the news, the telephone. Quit watching the same show over and over, trust God. For, and this is it, prayer is a secret life 
in which God works. It's a secret. God hides his answers and his miracles even from us. He's working. He wants to know, can you keep praying? I pray God's blessings for you. I pray God bless your house, your family, your mind, your job. This season, this virus will not take us out. We've survived worse times. God bless you, and may God keep you. Tune in, connect with us on our social media outlets, connect with us on our website. Make sure we have your correct email and phone number. Remember, the Lord is watching over you.